Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Aries ZDC. So, I know the last time you guys saw all of these, I was working on sheaths and everything else. So, I finished all the sheaths. They're all done. I sharpened all of them. They're all done. I put lanyards on the three that I was going to put lanyards on. So, these three are all done. This one is all done. I'm not going to put a lanyard on this one because there's no point. Um, I don't feel like it's a four finger grip. If that person wants to put a lanyard on it, then he can put a lanyard on it. Um, the only thing left is the rock hopper, <coughs> excuse me, which I did everything but put a lanyard on it. Ooh, I got some polishing compound in there. Let me clean that real quick. Hold on. I can't put that on camera. Be embarrassing people, right? Well, really just myself, but whatever. Um, <laughs> So the rock copper is getting there. I just got to put a lanyard on it. But it came up in a live stream the other day of how I do my beads. And Casey really liked the bead on the bloom. So I reached out and got his approval to make a bead. So I'm going to make a bead for this one. And I'm going to take you guys on the ride for that. And then we'll finish this one up. Um, so... I just wanted to share with you guys where I was on all the February builds. They are all, hold on, let me get some of that off the edge so it looks nice and shiny for you guys. Um, the petal with the black micarta, OD green, looking good. Got the nice sheath that goes with it. Uh, gargoyle, freaking amazing. The desert ironwood came out so nice. Um, yeah, that handle is nice. The blade is awesome. Your little pinky gets right there on the tip or right here. The little forward jimping. Get your thumb right on that jimping. Man, this thing is awesome. Um, never done a gargoyle with handle scales before. And definitely can see why it's an amazing with it. So why would I not think of it? Um, the bloom which um, the buyer of this one um, has approved me to tell it. So Tim B, uh, my buddy Tim B, designer of the Tobico, um, he wanted another one and he wanted a bloom. So we made him a bloom. He's a D Detroit Lions fan. So I hooked him up with that and got him some blue pops on the sheath to go with it. So he got his stonewashed ADCR V2 bloom with the rosewood and it came out really, really nice. Um, the Bloom Harpoon with the white G10 and the gray liners came out really nice. The nice satin finish on it, hand satin finish, not not machine, it's all done by hand, uh, these hands. And that one turned out really nice. And then the last one uh, is the Rock Copper Acid Edge Tumbled Finish, that fat carbon came out really, really nice. Um, and the only thing left on this one is the lanyard. Um, that thick handle right there, the way I designed it was it gets right here and it gives you something substantial to hold on to. So even though it's just three fingers, you can really, really bite into it if you need to. So anyway, they're all done. Um, and soon, you'll never see them again <laughs> because uh, by the time this video comes out, uh, hopefully they will all be purchased and I'll be shipping them off to their, their new homes. All my babies are going to go fly away and be friends with all new people. So, um, and hopefully they don't bite, but sometimes they bite. I mean, that's not my fault though. You have to train them. If you don't train them properly, you're going to get bit. That's all I got to say. So anyway, let's get started on this bead. All right, guys. So let's talk raw material. I talked to Casey and he was good with the, the blue G10. So I have just a couple pieces of end cuts for the blue G10. And then I have black liner. So I could do this a couple ways. I can make just one bead out of this. And then it ends up just being just kind of a regular bead. Or 
I can do the two part construction where I, let's see, <clears throat> do, do, do. put it together and then you get the blue, black, blue. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I, the first step is I got to drill the hole. Then I glue it all up. No, actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to drill the hole, trim this down just a little bit. Then I'll glue it all up. Then I basically turn my Dremel into a lathe. And I have the small barrel attachment. Uh, this isn't it, but this gives you an idea. Well, it's over here. So I have that small barrel attachment. So I'll take this off and then I can put the bead on it. And then I just throw it in the vise here. And then I just take sandpaper and start roughing it out. Or I could take this over to the grinder and start working on that to get it going a little faster. And then I make a bead. Um, so I'm gonna drill the holes and then I'm gonna glue it up. And then we can start trimming it up. And then I'll show you the lathe part because that's gonna be, I guess, the most transformative thing. So let me go drill some holes. All right, so I got the hole drilled in all of this. I got it roughly shaped up very rough and then I just glued it so now I gotta let that epoxy dry and then when I'm done I can put this on the Dremel like I showed you and then I'll probably just to get everything completely smooth take it to the grinder it happens a little bit faster and then I just take sandpaper and I start shaping the bead so the next time you see this I'll have it hooked up and going through the motions so fun times all right guys so here let me take this out i got the hole drilled and i got it set up in the dremel um like i said i got that little drum and i got it set up in the dremel i could put it in the vise clamp it down a little bit turn it on And now I have basically um, just a way for me to take sandpaper and start lowering this down. Um, I got to get it perfectly round and then I can start shaping it. Um, and that's kind of what I do. Um, so I guess I can time lapse this. It's kind of boring sitting there watching it in full speed. Um, we'll see. I'm going to start with like 80 grit sandpaper. And then I'll work my way up. And we'll see if that goes. If it's not taking too long, I'll take it over to the grinder and see if that will speed it up a little bit. All right, guys, so quick update. So you see the bead is now 100% flat all the way around. So now I'm using 120 grit and I can start rounding it off. So I'm going to start shaping it and then we're going to start getting higher and higher on the grit content on the sandpaper and turn it into a bead. All right, let's continue. Going well so far.
All right, guys. There you go. There's your bead. The only thing left, I'm going to take it over, going to polish it, and let's see what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys. And there you have it. One custom Aries EDC bead. Very simple process. Um, you know, just gotta line it up, get the holes done, get it glued up, and then it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. What do you guys think? Let's go put that on the knife. All right, guys, there it is. Now I can say this one is completely done. So, Casey. Some pictures are coming your way, my friend. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you like the final outcome. So now all March is done. You got the February builds on the way. We'll see what comes, but the rock copper is looking pretty good. We got the nice acid etched stone wash finish. The fat carbon came out really nice with the black liners, black pins, black lanyard hole, nice 1 8 inch ADCRV2, and now the custom G10 bead uh, came out really, really nice. So, what do you guys think? Came out good? So the rock copper is now done and we can add that to the list. So now they're all done. All of February are done. I'm gonna do my final uh, photo shoot for this guy when the weather clears, since it's raining right now. I'll do an inside photo shoot and send it over to KC for final approval. And then hopefully I'll be able to ship that off to him. But that is how to do a bead, guys. Somebody asked, and, you know, very simple process, and it turned out really, really cool. Um, blue and blue. I know KC's a fan of blue, so there you go. That should work out really, really well. Before I say goodbye on this video, though, please subscribe. The reason why I say that is I am less than 100. Ooh, I'm about 88 subs away from a thousand subs on the channel when i get to a thousand i am going to be doing a giveaway and what am i going to be giving away well i'm going to be giving away this knife um i'm still doing some work on it but this is the damascus pedal um, if you follow it along on the channel you have seen it uh, but i have pretty much finished it we got the coral resin bolsters, I guess you can call that area the bolster, some G10 liners in there to separate from the black burlap micarta. Um, and I'm gonna put a lanyard on it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have any bead material to do, but uh, I'll just do a nice black lanyard or red lanyard, probably black. Um, and I just gotta put an edge on this but this is going to be the thousand sub giveaway so when i get to a thousand then i'm going to do a drawing to give away this knife so please subscribe um, if you haven't already so anyway guys that's what i got again please subscribe like leave a comment or not that choice is yours